Welcome in, baseball fans, and here in New York, baseball from the big city, the house that Ruth built. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Round Rock Express taking on the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And our pitcher tonight, Domingo Herman. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Laoti Tavares. And the right hander deals. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Now here is Jax Biggers. Righty delivers. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now the left fielder, Zach Rex. Next offering is down low. No outs, runners at first and second. the middle and it gets by him that's three singles in a row to me it's just a really controlled balanced swing he wasn't trying to do too much with it just stayed disciplined got the barrel to the ball and put it in play Sam Huff digs in now pitch foul ball there it's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on let's see if they can cash in got him one away well really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there glove side command fastball firm to the outside corner tell you what very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Yanni Hernandez will hit next. Three one is on the way. And a foul ball. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. On the ground, right side. Off balance feed. There's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. of the first and pitching in this game Kohei Arihara lots of punch outs a real strikeout artist singing well he's got great stuff but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery hides the ball for a very long time high leg kick and by the time the hitter sees it it's right on top of him we go to the bottom of the first here's the shortstop at the play Oswald Peraza Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one down. 
Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Jose Peraza at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Lined into right, and there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Really nice job, a two-strike hitting in that at-bat. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Now the third baseman, Philip Evans. And the righty deals. Rolled to short, possible two ball. There's one, on to first, double play, and that's the inning. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, number 25. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. punch out there and quickly one away in the second well that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count and as a pitcher it really allows you to start expanding the zone guys become defensive and all of a sudden for the hitter that plate starts to get really wide and what happens is because of the pressure you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is and that's what leads to the strikeout swing and a miss struck him out back-to-back -back strikeouts that's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And stepping in is the speedy number six. Got him. That's out number three. After an inning and a half, it's one nothing. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Slapped foul. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right that there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. And now it's Esteban Florial. 1-1 one, one now. And downstairs. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting six. No left fielder. Ryan. Lamar. Two out. Space is empty. Here's the left fielder, Ryan Lamar. The pitch. Line drive. Caught. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. And the batter now, Josh Smith. 
the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Here's Leody Tavares. Reached on an infield single his first time. Pulls that one foul. Here comes a pitch. That misses, and the count is two and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating, based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Righty to the plate. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Out towards right center field. And there's one away. Now it's the second baseman, Jax Biggers. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. The count is two and one. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Florial puts it away. Two down. Now batting left fielder Zach Rex. Man at first. Now the left fielder Zach Rex, and he's already singled in this game. Kicks and deals. Bounce to the right side. They take the force out, and the inning is over. Welcome back. Now, here is Ender and Ciarte. Pitches outside. Left hand batter waits. Rip to third and caught. Batting in. The white field. Michael. Michael Beltre, the next to hit. pitch out to short sends it to first and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third batting nine, the catcher Rob Brantley now the catcher up to hit Rob Brantley and a 1-1 one -one. good eye right there And that one is lifted in the air. Tavares raging back towards the wall. Snags it on the run. And that is that.
and welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him, Sam Huff. That smash towards center. Florial makes the play. One down. Now batting the third baseman, Yoni Hernandez. And now, Yoni Hernandez. Next one misses, ball three. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Kicks and fires. In the air, right side. Beltre under it. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, number 25. The wind and the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Beltra racing over to make the catch. Four. Now it's the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. The pitch. Ball Looked two. like it was a little bit up. And the pitch That's just awkward. missed now in this three ball count down in the ball game you've got to be very selective take your walk if they'll give it to you in the air out towards left center no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down now back second baseman Jose. Next to hit, Jose Peraza. Here's a 1-1. High chopper to third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground. Already two gone here in the home four. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put now it on the ground. Third baseman, Phillip Evans. Here's the third baseman, Philip Evans. He hit into a double play his first time up. And here it comes. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Two outs. Now a pop-up on the infield. Number 25 settles under this one. Makes the grab. And that will end the inning. Left-hand hitter waits. Right side, hard hit. Peraza handles. Fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The batter, number six. Number six, now at the plate. Ball 
called a strike. Late on that fastball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Trevor Lane appears to be getting loose. King warming up as well. And he deals. Off the mark there. The count now two and two. The pitch. Up the middle. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it. But still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Josh Smith. That's Next offering two. misses. Ball two. Herman throws over, and he's back in safely. And the righty deals. That pitch in for a strike. That's strike two. Belt and fires. Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Bottom of the inning at the play. Ronald Guzman. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The why to kick the pitch. And that's down it away. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next pitch off the play, and it's three and two. Ripped on a line. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. two hits allowed so far tonight Boog. so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much you know he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long and now the center fielder Esteban Florial righty delivers hard ground ball for a base stop it's in and out of his glove lead runner holds up they're at first and second with nobody out well, a big swing of the bat right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And now Ryan Lamar. Next offering is foul back. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. The 2-2. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Hit in the air, right field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Two on, one out. Here's Ender and CRT. And a pitch. 
Next offering is outside. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Out to center, Tavares. Should have this one. He's got it, and there's two away. Now it's the right fielder, Michael Beltre. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Guzman, the lead runner at second. Florial at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch has popped up. Number 25, as this one sized up, brings it in for the third out. That was an opportunity to do damage. He popped it up instead. Frustrating at bat, he'll be thinking about that one for a while. They turn things over to the southpaw, Trevor Lane. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at the ballpark, top six. And now here is Leody Tavares. And a pitch. Stays alive. Well, he put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run now it's going to be jacks biggers and that's a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one-out single well they call that an advantage count for a reason you're so much more likely to get something you can handle that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay one gone runner at first now zach rex and a pitch that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One run game, one out, one on. And the next pitch is way outside. Out there to center and that'll fall for a base hit and they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single here's the catcher to hit Sam Huff throw to first Rex gets back easily Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Huge strike out there. Oh, well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. So two down now, and here is Yanni Hernandez. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And it's fouled away.
Next offering is way upstairs. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, things start to unravel out there on the mounds. Giving up a few hits. Now he's hitting guys. He's got to find a way to compose himself, or he's not going to be out there much longer. Kicks and fires. Line drive, and it's just foul. That was close. Base hit, one run is in. Now two runs score. It's three zip. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Absolutely smoked that baseball. What a swing. Sends it out way faster than it came in, of course. 113 off the bat, and no matter where you hit it at that speed, it's tough to make a play on. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Here's a 1-2. And a ball evens the count. And now the lefty, that's off the mark. Full count now. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. To the right side, dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Breaking ball was in a decent spot down and in, but he did a really nice job getting to it before it tied him up. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. New arm out of the bullpen, Michael King. And he steps right into a bases loaded jam. Number six, getting ready to hit. Next offering is foul back. The one, two, stays alive. Foul ball. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And the right hater deals. And it's even up. Bases loaded, two down. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Bottom of the sixth inning, and here's the catcher, Rob Brantley. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The one-two. That one out to right. Number six, moving under this one. Brings it in, and there's one down. Now that is shortstop Oswald Peraza. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. Here's a 1-1. Out towards left center. Rex under it. Snags it for the second out. Now batting second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. 
Here's the second baseman, Jose Peraza, one for two. The one one, way high. The two one. And there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. set for the start of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Josh Smith. 2-2. Two -two. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Leody Tavares. One for three. The 1-1. One -one. Swing, and this one's bounced on the ground. Peraza fires over to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. The bat, the second baseman, Jack Biggers. So digging in, Jack's Biggers. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. The pitch. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Got him looking. Third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. The Rail Riders in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, and it goes just foul. In the air, left field, Rex drifts towards it, calls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, the center fielder, Esteban. Here's the center fielder, Esteban Florial. Left hand batter waits, tap to first. He steps on the bag, two up, two down. Now the left field, Ryan Lamar. So up next, Ryan Lamar. The 
wind in the pitch. Base hit, center field. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here is Ender Enciarte. Next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one fouled off, two and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Rex makes the catch, and that'll do it. the top of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Zach Rex. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a pop-up. Peraza under it. And there's one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Sam Huff. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two misses to even the count. Two and two. Ground ball, left side. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. So two down now, and here is Yanni Hernandez. The 2-1. And that one wrapped foul. Next one in the dirt. Three and two. The 3-2 three is right off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. So digging in, number 25. Two outs. And now two balls and a strike. of the zone and a called strike. The pitch. That's outside. And the count's full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. In the air, right field. Tracks it down for the out. And that ends the inning. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Matt Bush trying to protect this lead.
Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Michael Beltre. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. This one popped up. Smith makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Now back, the catcher, Rob Brantley. Here's the catcher, Rob Brantley. Two two now. On the ground at first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Now batting. Not shortstop. And here is Oswald Peraza. And here it comes. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Pitching change here, Greg Weiser. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Number 38, Greg Weiser. And welcome back. We go to the ninth, and now the DH, Matt Carpenter. Pitch misses, and now three and one. And he deals. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in want to try to tie him up that's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings and he walked him just missed his spot on the inside right there so up next number six number six carpenter on at first nobody out Ball right side could be two. Guzman over to second, throw to first, see. Good late bite on that slider, got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Man at first. Now it's the shortstop, Josh Smith. And a payoff pitch and it's ball four he missed down low well interesting he went with the off speed and walked the hitter man you got to challenge the guy with the fastball so the batting order turns over and now Laoti Tavares singing you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively I mean watching him track balls in the outfield it is beautiful The next pitch misses, full count now. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Now at the plate, Jax Biggers. The one-two. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Fires over to Guzman. That ends the frame. 
Couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you gotta really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Greg Holland gets the ball now, and he'll work on holding this lead. Back here at the ballpark, last chance for the home team. Now the number two hitter, Jose Peraza. Next pitch misses inside. Two balls, two strikes. At the belt and fires. The punch out there. One gone here. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. So digging in, Philip Evans. Next one misses, two and two. And the righty deals. High fly ball out to center field. Got it! Covered plenty of distance there. And there's two down. Now that, the first baseman, Ronald. Digging in, Guzman. Ronald Guzman. The 1-1. One, one. Come back to the mound. And that'll do it. This is just a nice win. Three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching, timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Victorious Express, three runs on nine hits, no errors, they left ten men on base. For the Rail Riders, no runs, four hits, no errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.